what's up guys welcome back thank you so much for tuning in and i'm back again with another video i hope you guys are doing well you are safe uh quarantining and also staying at home so in today's video i want to share something with you guys that i actually experienced during this lockdown so one of the weekends i think about three weeks back my internet stopped working and which is something that i need almost every day so I decided to call the service provider to find out what's exactly happening. So they told me that no, everything on their side is 100%. We did the test and on their side, they were getting everything correct. But on my side, I was not getting any connection. So I decided to say, well, they can rather send someone to come and have a look at the line or something. I don't know what's the problem. So they said they would send someone to bring in uh, the fiber breaker. That's actually where you plug in your fiber from outside into the house and from the house into your router i will show you guys just now in a moment so the guy came in and then when he gets the gate they told him that he cannot come in because the visitors are not allowed to visit the uh, complex that i'm living in during the lockdown so he decided to say you know what i'm gonna leave the fiber breaker outside and then you can come and pick it up and then i'll take you through on how you're gonna install it so basically this is one experience that i had with the guy who was helping me i actually just forgot his name but he actually did a great job so actually let me just move so yeah here's the story so as i was walking back from my apartment after picking up uh, the delivery box that he left at the gate so he called me and said uh, i need you to download what you call uh team viewer pilot it's an app that you can download on your smartphone it works on both android and ios you simply download it and then it's not even that big in terms of the size so i downloaded that and then uh walked back into my apartment then he gives me the call and then he said he wants to see the current setup as to how am i connected so i sent him a picture and then he said like no just give me the id which is on that team your pilot and then i will want to see what's exactly happening so i just put down the box that i had and then by then, this is what, what this is what was still connected there, and then he said, "Okay, if the service light is off, I don't know why. I didn't actually have pay attention to this. So the service light here, it was actually off, which means I was not getting any connection from outside into uh, into the house. Hence, I didn't have the internet. So I gave him the ID from the Team Viewer pilot, and then he was able to see what I was seeing through the camera of the phone." So that's basically what I want to show you guys as to how this thing works. So uh, the next person who is remoting to your team viewer pilot will be the one to direct you and show you what you need uh, to click, what you need to plug, what you need to switch on and off. Uh, yeah, depending on what, you, what problem you're trying to solve. So he will take you through the steps and then you'll be able to see what you are seeing through the camera of your phone so this app will require you to allow it to access your camera as well as the microphone through the same application he will be able to hear you using the same application and then he will be able to see what you are seeing so let me show you just a quick demo i'm really hoping this won't take long so uh the team you had pilot will give you an id which you give it to the next person who who, uh, who should give you the remote assistance that's what they call it so when you connect let me record this both screen so that you see what i'm doing uh so the, t the partner id which is the one that i have on my phone is here on team viewer then uh it's calling me in a form where for a phone call let me see if i can record this okay i'm recording it on the phone recording started ah okay i need to start the recording again So there's an echo from the microphone because both devices are close to each other so i'm just gonna mute the microphone on the on the smartphone then you can see uh the dots those dots actually shows the points that i can click on or that i can mark uh but basically what you can do using this uh, augmented reality you can actually mark or point and then you can actually set all things to say i need you to focus on this i need you to focus on that so that's basically what's gonna uh, give the next person a view of what you are seeing and then it will take you through the instructions and then you will be able to fix whatever problem you're trying to fix if yeah the case is the same as mine so like for example in this case uh, this is a power bank here on my table so i can cycle on it then he's able to see he's able to do the same thing on the other side he can settle he can point 
for example uh, that's the left of there so you can say uh, number one there so you can point on that to say click on number one and then after click on number one you could say okay click on number two then all those arrows they will have numbers then this session will be recorded for you to actually see what steps you have taken to get to where you were so let me try to see if i can go to where i was actually taking this i probably i will leave this camera behind then you guys will just see from the phones what i was what saying was so come so, with me so, so, this is the, 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 the fiber breaker that he brought for the Terminator. The Terminator. And, then he, said and then he said I had to reach the lights. Light. So, so before that, so only four lights were on. Let's look in the same slide. That light, 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 light there that I've pointed on, it was, it was not coming on at all. It was not even playing. And then the light here, this is the router. This light here, it shows that the internet connectivity is on. So it was ten orange. To show that it was not getting any light, it was not getting any connection. So basically, so basically it, took the it took me through the whole process. We reset this device, this device, and then he told, told, told me that I need to connect the Ethernet cable. The Ethernet cable. The this is the Ethernet cable. That's going to work on that. On this Ethernet, this Ethernet port one, I must plug it in there, and then I must come all the way here to the router. And then and then and plug it on the when pump is blue in color as you can see and then on the router itself i must take another yellow cable in the same internet port from a different router and plug it on and then put one on the router and then take the other end which is here and then plug it on my laptop and then i can start connecting to the ip address which i will want to display and then from, from there I was able to get access into the router, the router and, from the and then from the router I was able to connect to there to get internet connection. So basically, so basically it took me through, all, through all these things uh, uh, using this augmented reality and it was actually very interesting. Though I think I was able to do it in traditional seminar like because we are able to find one place to say as soon as this, as is, soon as this is connected, time, when you get time, I think that you must remove all the cables in the cycle that you are using. There should be at least four cables, four cables here, including the power adapter. So, so I will need to remove the lights and make sure that, sure make sure that it's neat and clean. So uh, basically, that's it about argumented, argumented reality. So when you're busy showing the next person what you are seeing, yeah, you can actually pause. They can undo the steps that they have done, uh, you know, and they can still redo again and all those kind of things. At the end of the day, you can save this session to say it's gonna use. It's gonna be used as a knowledge base next time we have the same problem, or maybe something happens there or everything falls down then I'm able to connect to the internet the way it was. So I think this will come in handy in future. I'm still going to explore this to actually find out what more things we can do using this augmented reality from Team Dua. So guys, that's pretty much about it on this video. I don't know what you guys think of this, but I think there's a great space in the market uh, in terms of solving problem. Uh, if you look at Team Dua's website, where they were actually showing the demo of where it was used, uh, there was a time or at the point where the guy was helping an elderly person to actually fix their internet connection and the summer where the guy went to the power line and then he opened the transformer box uh, something a DB box something like that and then they told him where to plug and all those kind of stuff so I believe this will come in handy and then I don't know it's gonna grow I don't know what you guys think let me know in the comment section below and I will see you on my next video subscribe if you haven't subscribed uh, hit the like button, uh, click on the notification button so that you get notified each time I upload a video. And I will definitely see you on my next video.